हेलो एवरी वन आई एम मिसेस भाग्यश्री रामतुरे फ्रॉम ए आई एस एस एम एस आई आई टी पुणे नाव इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी वन ऑफ द पीलर फ्रॉम ऑब्जेक्ट ओरिएंटेड प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज सो वी विल कवर पॉलीमोफिजम पार्ट ही actually what is polymorphism that that word came from greek language the word that came from greek language poly means many and morphism means several form both words are derived from greek language thus by combining these two words a new whole word that called polymorphism which means a one which have various forms in c++ the function can be bound at earlier compiler time or run time deciding a function call at compile time is called compile time or we can say early or the another name is static binding deciding a function call at run time is called run time or late or dynamic binding so this two part compile time polymorphism as well as the run time polymorphism we will cover this two points yes polymorphism is the ability to use an operator or method in different ways polymorphism gives different meanings or functions to the operators or methods now how we will see with that example polymorphism is a concept in which an object can be treated in different ways it means that objects of a class can be used as objects of their derived classes okay now they're having two types compile time polymorphism as in, and the run time polymorphism now what is actual compile time polymorphism you can see here a diagrammatical representation for the polymorphism they're having two the first one is uh, run time compile time again the compile time that having two categories function overloading or operator overloading or we can say function overloading and operator overloading that will arise at the compile time and in run time the one of the best example that is nothing but the with the help of virtual function yes now function overloading when there are multiple functions with same name but different parameters then the function are said to be overloaded hence this is known as function overloading or in the another way we can see we can say that a function can be overloaded by changing number of arguments or changing the type of arguments now how here here you can see the example program of function overloading when number of arguments vary here having class calculator and uh, static function int add same static function int add so here we can see the add add so function name that is same but form of that function that should be different now in this first int a int a so they are having two integer variable here having three integer variables so that is nothing but the function overloaded class calculator c so we have created object of class and with the help of c dot add here we have we are we are passing a two value for that add function so automatically it call this one the first one and it gives result as a, a plus b so 10 plus 20 30 now the same c dot add 12 20 23 so it call this function because we are having three parameters three values so it add 12 plus 20 plus 23 so it gives result as a 55 okay thank you everyone